Mason, so we're, we're one one away. One away from making it to Paris last night, right? Yep. How fired up are you right now? You you qualified the weight. This yeah. is your weight. Is that the yeah. way you look at it? Yeah, exactly. It's my weight. It's, uh, you know, no one's taking that from me. You know, I've made so many sacrifices this entire year. It's all I've been thinking about since the World Championship because I was going to be that guy on that Olympic team, and I wanted to bring home that gold medal. And uh, this is just a stepping stone for me. This is just something for me to get into that gold medal. And, uh, you know, it's a good, good, decent first match for me, you know. Getting the first one out of the way is, you know, always the toughest, but I'm going to go out there even more offensive this next one and uh, put up even more points. Not the guy that the, anybody had penciled in wrestling yet. They're, you're going to take whoever you, know, you, got, you got to sit, right? But uh, not the guy, right? That's probably not the guy you pictured. You're probably thinking Gwiz, somebody else. But you know, whoever they put in front of you, what do you got to do to go out and dominate the second one and put more space between you and him? Yeah, for sure. You know, I always, when I train, I just think of a faceless wrestler. You know, it didn't matter who I had. I always told myself, it doesn't matter who steps the line with me. It's me against me. It's uh, I'm the best guy, and uh, I have all the abilities to win. And, you know, I don't really need feel like I need to – study game plans too hard i just need to go out there and wrestle my best and uh yeah that was uh just something that i did you know that match and uh yeah i'm just going to try to create a little bit more separation get a little bit more set up my attacks a little bit more and uh you know just keep improving every single match and uh you know that one just you know, gave me like, more confidence for the next one how much confidence did 2023 world championships give you to build off of in that foundation of meddling yeah it was huge you know even just like coming back in the wrestling room and having a world bronze medal just you know brings more confidence and you know, a little bit more swagger to me and uh you know it just is i feel like i've improved so much since the world championship i feel like i've gotten so much better i feel like my attacks are way crispier i'm way faster i'm way stronger and uh yeah it's just something that i've been improving on cliff spent saturday what's that i just spent uh friday um yeah i took it easy just talk to the people I'm closest with, really build my mental game. You know, my uh, trainer stretched me out. I uh, enjoyed a little bit of time outside. Uh, then I uh, just watched a little bit, got a good feel of the arena and the atmosphere. And yeah, just use that to, you know, go into the next one for today. Uh, Were you in the arena and watching the Hidden Minister or did you leave? Yeah, that was, uh, no, I came over just to watch that, just to watch the finals match. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to get a feel of the arena, the atmosphere of everyone there. And, uh, you know, kind of visualize myself winning on that match. You say things feel snappier, punchier, more powerful. What, do you, what did you do this year to, to, to get there? Yeah, it was just a lot of my uh, training, you know, weightlifting training and uh, wrestling training, just, you know, focusing on that I'm going in and I'm going to hit the guy I'm going to freaking tackle I'm going to run through the guy's face you know and uh, you know, that's something I, I've been trying to do and you know just my explosion I think has gotten so much better and uh, yeah I think you know I'm just going to use that going into the you know Olympics is the plan hey so I write about Penn State wrestling so I was curious about obviously you're not going to get to wrestle great Kurt Fleet uh, in these trials but you've wrestled them a lot in the past uh, what are your impressions of him and what impact do you think he can have in this class uh, in the years to come? Yeah, great stuff. You know, I have a lot of respect for him. You know, uh, yeah, you know, he's, he's a really tough component, uh, opponent. And, uh, you know, I was kind of hoping a little bit we'd get another match with each other, but, you know, it doesn't matter who steps out there with me. You know, he's a solid, solid person, solid guy. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, ho hopefully, you know, see, see some more matches with him in the future. If the University of Michigan – we're going to go into a kid's front room right now, and they could just lay out Mason Paris's path and career. That's what they're trying to sell to every kid. Would you agree with that statement? And has Cliff Keen provided you with everything you need beyond the University of Michigan and the infrastructure and the resources and, and world-class training partners and everything? Like, like you are the epitome of what Cliff Keen yeah. and University yeah, and Go Blue is all about, right? Yeah, Cliff Keen, you know, is, is amazing. They take really good care of me. They give me all of the resources I need to really reach my full potential. And uh, that's, that's the biggest thing for me. That's what I was looking for when I was deciding on the college is a place where I could reach my potential, get my best. I felt like I was pretty raw coming into college. And, you know, that was just a place where I've gotten so much better. And, you know, I have amazing coaches, amazing people, amazing teammates that surround me and just make me want to get better. You know, we have multiple Olympians on our in our club team. You know, it's easy for me to hang out with those guys and build around those guys who really want to achieve, achieve achieve our dreams together. Mason, what's that tattoo? <laughs> it's just a warrior that I really like. You know, a lion's always been my favorite animal, but this is just, you know, a brave warrior that, you know, I always believe you know, helps give me power, and I really like it a lot. Uh, this is my uh, my patented move. <laughs> my fireman's carry. I like it a lot. This is uh, Jacob Wrestling, the angel. So, 
you know, a little bit of, you know, my faith in there. Uh, I got this one probably two years ago going into my senior season. You know, I wanted a little bit of a change to, you know, let people know I was coming in a different way. And then I got this one, you know, not too long ago, either probably right after the World Championship. Good luck in the second match.